Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you, you, yes, I'm talking to you, just you. Yeah, the intro wasn't cringy enough already. Instead, now I'm gonna talk to you through the camera and make this intro even more cringy because that's how I roll. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers, all of my crispy golden nuggets who stick around and who watch these videos with me on a regular basis. I really do appreciate having y'all here a part of this community and I love reading your fun facts and suggestions in the comments down below. And welcome if you are new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you like my videos and you keep watching them over and over again, but you are not subscribed, maybe consider clicking that little red button down below. I would really appreciate it. Thanks. <clears throat> Real quick before we get into the video, let's have a word from today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding and conveniently ships them right to your door. Right now, they have great Cyber Week deals available, so it's the perfect time to upgrade your mattress. Based off of their quiz that tests factors like firmness preferences, back pain, and sleeping positions, they're able to find the mattress that's perfect for you. When Tyler and I took the quiz together, Helix matched us with their Dusk Lux mattress. I'm a stomach sleeper while Tyler is a back sleeper, and it suits us perfectly. We've had it for over two years now, and it has worked wonders for us. Our mattress has the perfect balance of firmness and support while still feeling really cozy and plush. I notice that when I'm sleeping regularly on my Helix mattress that not only is my quality of sleep much better, but my back pain is significantly reduced. As somebody who struggles with muscle pain and stiffness, this is really important to me. I love our Helix mattress so much that I'm constantly telling my friends about it, and I actually have some friends that have gone out and purchased their own, and they love it. Also, when we have friends stay over at our place and they sleep on our mattress, they're always asking me where I got my mattress from because it's just that comfortable. Helix delivers right to your door and with free shipping in the US. Their mattresses are fiberglass free and super easy to set up right out of the box. My favorite thing about Helix though is that they offer a 100 night sleep trial plus a 10 year warranty. So you'll get plenty of time to ensure that you love your mattress. Also, they offer great financing options and flexible payment plans. I love my Helix and I think that you would too. So if you're looking for a new bed, consider clicking the link in my description to get 25% off of your new Helix Sleep mattress. Again, just click the link in my description or go to helixsleep.com slash nataliegold for up to 25% off. Helix has great Cyber Week deals available now, so make sure to head on over to their site for more details. Thank you so much to Helix for sponsoring this video. They've been a longtime sponsor of the channel for a while now. I really appreciate it immensely. And thank Thank you all so much for listening to the sponsor. It helps out a lot. Now, with all that being said, let's get back into the video. Wait, where are they taking his, what? Moriarty's body is being moved. Oh, no way. He knew Moriarty would kill himself. That guy was a plant. The bicycle guy was a plant. Molly's in on it and he was wearing a cable the entire time. What is he? What is he an action stunt man now? Whoa! Okay. Shit. Jesus Christ. Okay. Wow, that was kind of smooth. I'm not going to lie. Like I have not been attracted to, to Sherlock in this series at all. He's just not my type. I'm not really into like a hyper intellectual cold kind of guy, but that was sexy. <laughs> Look at me and sleep. He's hypnotizing him? Oh, poor Watson. He's just been tricked and traumatized because he needed to believe it was real. We're going to let him in on it eventually. We're just torturing him. I feel like for no reason. Or is it because everybody had to believe he was dead in order to... Bollocks! No, 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 no. It's obvious. Oh. Let it go. Sherlock's dead. Oh. I feel like Lestrade didn't have gray hair in the last season. I kind of like it on him a lot. Oh no, I don't want to see him in mourning with a cute little mustache. I can't handle it. And a scarf. I can't. Don't show me him. Oh, f I don't have any tissues. 
Y'all, I don't have any tissues. This is risky. I'm taking risks by being here. Does he have a girlfriend finally? Because Sherlock is out of his life and now he has the time for a girlfriend. That would actually be so funny. He couldn't have a girlfriend before with Sherlock because, you know. <laughs> is this the next mystery? Someone's on the run in Serbia, or at least the Serbians are after him. Ah. Who's in the corner? What if it's Sherlock? I just, I'm like waiting to see what he's up to. Who is this guy? Now listen to me. There's an underground terrorist network active in London and a massive attack is imminent. Oh. Sorry, but the holiday is over. Is it Mycroft? Brother dear. Bro Back to Baker Street. What? What? Sherlock Holmes. What the f What the f I thought the other guy was Sherlock. <laughs> I thought Mycroft was gonna be Sherlock. And then that was Mycroft and Sherlock was the guy in Chase. Okay, so Mycroft does know he's alive. We gotta let Watson in on it. Poor dude, he's gonna be so mad. But we'll have to get rid of that. <laughs> he doesn't like the mustache. <laughs> Am I the only one? <laughs> well, I've got some news. Oh God, is it serious? What, no, no, I'm, I'm not ill. I've uh... <laughs> She's like, you're sick, you're dying. I've met someone. Yeah, it's good news, but he just sounds so sad about it. We're getting married. Well, I'm going to ask anyway. So soon enough to Sherlock. The, well, they weren't dating. What's his name? Oh my God, he's not gay. <laughs> I can't. really have moved on. Haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> he has a dinner reservation in the Marylebone Road. Don't interrupt. He's proposing. He's going to interrupt and ruin it. Oh my God, Watson, yeah, you're never gonna have a happy uh, love life, buddy. Sorry to say. Can I help you with anything, Sarah? All right, yeah, I'm looking for a bottle of champagne. No f***ing way, no f***ing way. He's trolling him. <laughs> Maybe you like my personal crack my dad's mm -hmm. Good thing he doesn't make eye contact <laughs> with people very often. I can face from the past. Great. He's not looking. He, drew, he planned the whole thing for him to- uh, With the quality of surprise. He's like, look at me, I did a bit for you. <laughs> He's so hammy, man. It's adorable. If you'll have me, Mary, could you see your way? Um... <clears throat> Aww, is Sherlock gonna ruin it? Suddenly one is aware of staring into the face of an old friend. Now look, seriously, could you just... He ruined it. He ruined it. He ruined it. Oh no, you... Oh yes. Oh my god. I'm not great. Oh, at least Mary's picking up on what's happening. <laughs> yeah, you feel like an asshole now. Wasn't so funny anymore. I thought you were dead. Hmm? Yeah, it's like a ghost coming back into your life and then doing a prank on you. Like, psych, I'm alive. One question, just let me ask one question. Are you really gonna keep that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good, he deserves that. He deserves that. It's like, oh, you not dead? I'ma kill you, okay? I'ma finish this. Actually, um, that was mostly Mycroft's idea. Of course it was, f***ing Mycroft. Oh, well, he would have needed a confidant. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, Mary. Oh, poor Mary. She's like, she's like, oh, well, to play devil's advocate. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't be doing that. Who else knew? Yeah. Molly Hooper and some of my homeless network, and that's all. His homeless network. So those are the people who helped then. 25 emerged. <laughs> He's gonna kill him again. <laughs> we're gonna kick out of every restaurant. Now we're in. Now we're in like a what a pizza shop. <laughs> That's oh no Euro Euro shop. That's hilarious. Secret? What? Size twelve? Okay, we didn't need to say that. What did he get from her? What was he trying to read off of her? Is she to be trusted? He, I saw the word secret. Oh no. Oh no. Is she not to be trusted? Poor John just can't be happy, huh? Yeah. What's going on with Mary? Is she actually to be trusted or not? I can't tell. John or James? Saint or sinner? James or John, the more is less. What? Who's James? Best word than every third. Save John Watson. Now. Now? Where are we going? Oh, the dramatic dropping of the chips and fish. Man, if, if a Brit is dropping their fish and chips, you know it's urgent. Oh, what? You're gonna commandeer his bike? We just stole a cyclist's bike, and, and luckily there were two on, on there, so we had two helmets. 10 minutes? What does it mean? What are they gonna do to him? I don't know. Okay, I guess Mary is fine. I don't know. I think I just was confused as to what Sherlock was seeing when he was looking at her. 
This is not where I would have guessed he was being kept. It looked like he was like deep in the woods somewhere. Oh, he's, is there a bomb? <gasps> oh my God, there's supposed to be a fire here? He's in the, <gasps> he's in the foliage, like the bonfire wood, but he can't move? He can't scream? He's muffled. Oh no, oh no. no. It's not gonna work. Bit damp, thank God. Get something to help it along. Yeah, 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 gasoline, okay. <laughs> Wait, so what is this, like, event where we burn a scarecrow and it looks like we're burning a witch? Like, why is it, why are we doing this? Just hop the fence! Holy f How big is this roundabout? Oh, he saved him, yay! Oh my God, if I was that father, I'd be forever traumatized. Like, I didn't know there was a man in there, I swear. Lord Moran, he's a peer of the realm. Normally he'd sit in the house. Tonight there's an all-night sitting to vote on the new anti-terrorism bill. Oh. He won't be there. Not tonight. Not the 5th of November. The 5th? <gasps> Wait, is this really just a reference to Beaver Vendetta? <laughs> oh my god, why are all of these villains so dramatic? It's right underneath the palace of Westminster. Uh oh, and that's where the bomb bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause V for Vendetta. Yeah, it's a train full of bombs. Exactly. There's a bomb there. The tube carriage is carrying a bomb. Must be. We should probably whisper that. I don't want to freak people out. Sherlock, this isn't a game. They need to evacuate Parliament. To get in the way, they always do. This is cleaner, more efficient. We. Oh, but all the innocent people. What if it? Yeah, yeah. We're going the illegal route. Okay. John's really just throw, getting right back into it. He's like, you saved my life. Okay, we'll just get back into it. It's fine. Let's commit illegal acts again. There's nothing. This doesn't make sense. It's wired. They really hit it like it like it looks normal, but it's all in the seats. It's not carrying explosives. The whole compartment is the bomb. Man, it is pretty f***ed up that we really didn't tell anybody about this bomb. Is Sherlock like a professional bomb diffuser now? We need bomb disposal. Uh-huh. There may not be time for that now. Well, yeah, that's why you should have called the cops earlier. Doesn't mean I know how to defuse a giant bomb. What about you? Then why didn't you call the bomb squad? Can't, can't we rip their timer off or something? No, that would set it off. You see, you know things. You know things. <laughs> Use the, the, the things you know. Go now. There's no point now, is there? Because there's not enough time to get away. And if we don't do this, other people will die. Exactly. Mind palace. Hmm? Go to your mind palace. Go to the mind palace. Oh, what do you think? I've just got how to defuse a bomb tucked away in there somewhere. Yeah. I love how they're having a fight right now. This is a great time to have a fight. Maybe. Go to the mind palace! Think! <laughs> I love the acting like he's thinking. Sorry. What? Oh, he's taking the moment to apologize. I can't do it, John. Really? I genuinely like, I, I like don't believe him. It's so bizarre. I like feel like he's, is he using this? Why do, this is a trick. Yeah, that's what I thought too, John. That's what I thought too. We've just, I thought it was a trick. Let me say something nice. I agree. I think he is trying to do that. I think he is trying to do that. But yes, of course. I forgive you. <laughs> John is so nice. Now he's going to defuse the bomb. I'm sure John was right. What? Mycroft fed Moriarty information about me. That was intentional. And then I sat back and watched Moriarty destroy my reputation bit by bit. Mm hmm Wow, so even from that point, he knew. But the one thing I didn't anticipate was just how far Moriarty was prepared to go. Right, he did look shocked when Moriarty killed himself. I contacted my brother, set the wheels in motion. Lazarus, oh, that was one of the options. <laughs> Moriarty kills himself. They did think about it, but he didn't think he would actually do it. Don't move. They brought a bouncy house in. But we needed him to see a body. That's when Molly came in. We we really dressed up another person's corpse to look like Sherlock. So we needed a fresh corpse that wasn't, <laughs> you know, decomposing. Giving me time to switch places with the corpse on the pavement. Oh, are you kidding me? We had a corpse on the pavement. We switched places with him. It was just temporary in case John saw. Oh no, the corpse was- a the rest was just window dressing. Oh, so it was really him. That's what he did. Everything was anticipated. Every eventuality allowed for. It worked perfectly. Is he telling the guy? He's telling him. Not the way I'd have done it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm, yeah, he's critical of it. He's like a theater critic. How could you be sure John would stand on that exact spot? I mean, what if he'd moved? How did he do it all so quickly? 
What if the bike hadn't? He left. He just left. He's losing his mind. Oh my god, dude. This <laughs> This dude needs help, man. Sherlock has gotten in his head. He's living in his head rent free. Yes, thank you. We're back. Oh my God. Is he laughing now? Because it was all a trick. Yeah, you f***ing asshole. He paused it. He paused it. He found the switch to pause it. It was a kill switch. Are you kidding me? You f***. I knew it. Oh, I knew it. You yeah, you did know it. And then yet you still fell for it. You know, I will kill you if you ever breathe a word of this. Scout's honor. To any- Scout's honor. <laughs> what a f ass, man. Jeez. Time to go and be Sherlock Holmes. Oh, he's putting the hat on. Oh my God. <laughs> Give the people what they want. And there's people there. Oh my God. The duo's back together. Oh, still going. Little sneak peek at the next episode. The bonfire. Oh, is this the guy who was in charge of that? New villain, new antagonist. Who's this military man? Oh, him. Oh, John, huh? I always forget John's been in the military, I'm not gonna lie. Right? It's him, right? Or is it not? Because this is very ominous music. No, it's somebody else. Because I was going to say, like, I don't remember, like, seeing John have any issues. So this man's, he's been severely burned. I wonder if he went to the wedding, if he was a friend of John's. So that's him. This is Major Schulte. Uh-huh. They're such good friends. Why does he barely even mention him? He mentions him all the time to me. He never shuts up about him. Oh, yeah? Is that true? Well, he's almost a recluse, you know, since... Yes. Since the accident, being burned. Most unsociable man he's ever met. He is, he's the most unsociable. <laughs> he's like, what? I'm the most unsociable, what? He's so jealous. Pray silence for the best man. Ay, 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 I'm so nervous for this. Oh my God, I'm getting embarrassed already. John Watson, my friend, John Watson. John. Oh my God, John, why did you make him your best man? <laughs> Why did you just, just don't have a best man? I mean, I know that like it is his best friend, but I just would not have a best man, honestly. Indeed, any reputation I have for mental acuity and sharpness comes in truth from the extraordinary contrast John so selflessly provides. It is a fact I believe that brides tend to favor exceptionally plain bridesmaids for their big day. There is a certain analogy there, I feel. And contrast is, after all, God's own plan to enhance the beauty of his creation. Or it would be if God were not a ludicrous fantasy designed to provide a career opportunity for the family idiot. What is happening? Why? It's gotten so bad. Is that I am the most unpleasant... Oh. Rude. Oh, okay. Ignorant. He's fixing it. And all-round obnoxious asshole that anyone could possibly have the misfortune to meet. Yes. And yet John still likes you. So if I didn't understand I was being asked to be best man, it is because I never expected to be anybody's best friend. Uh-huh. Certainly not the best friend or the bravest and kindest and wisest human being I have ever. Oh, see, there we go. The okay, we're fixing it a little bit. John, you have endured war and injury and tragic loss. So sorry again about that last one. <laughs> it's actually, I'm kind of glad he brought that up. That's funny. And I know I speak for Mary as well when I say we will never let you down and we have a lifetime ahead to prove that. Oh, great. Wow. He just fixed everything he did. Awesome. If I try and hug him, stop me. Certainly not. Stop me from hugging him. Ah, yes. <laughs> now onto some funny stories about John. Oh, Trump. no. Are we do? Oh, no. We should just end. What's wrong? What happened? Why are you all doing that? John. Why are you all crying? Sherlock, you did a good job, dude. No, did I do it wrong? <laughs> did I do it wrong? I haven't finished yet. It's okay. <laughs> so on to some funny stories. Wait till I sit down. He doesn't understand. He's like, I don't get it. Everyone's crying and clapping. This is awkward. His lack of understanding of like human emotion is really so funny. He really does such a great job playing a sociopath. Two uh, beers, please. Points. 443.7 milliliters. Oh, beakers. Okay, weird. Can we just pour this in a normal glass? Oh, we're on a schedule. You'll thank me. Oh, this is the stag night, right? I forgot. You'll thank me because we got to move around from bar to bar. Why are we drinking science beakers? <laughs> He's measuring how much beer John's had. The dubstep too. Oh my God. The dubstep version of the Sherlock theme really is just such a mid... 2000, like 10 aesthetic. On your <laughs> oh 
Oh no, he started up. Oh, he still dodged the punch. That's impressive. This song too. This song, oh. You can't cut out the beat drop. You can't do that. That's actually not okay. That was so f***ed up. That's the most f***ed up thing that's happened in this entire show to cut out the beat drop of that song. <laughs> Criminal. Client. Oh, a client. They're they're drunk. Mrs. Hudson, why would you bring a client in right now? Let's take it slowly. Exchange numbers. He said he'd get in touch and then- He's falling asleep. <laughs> I don't blame him, man. This would put me to sleep too if I was plastered. Mr. Holmes. I honestly think I had dinner with a ghost. Oh no, babe. Mr. Holmes. Babe. Mm -hmm. Babe. Oh, he fell asleep. They both fell asleep. <laughs> I'll find him in 10 minutes. What's your dog's name? Yeah, I'm clear if you want it. John, wake up. What's your dog's name? The game is Jeez, something. It's a dog. It's a, the game is something. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, that, that. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Now they're gonna do this while they're hammered. Oh, uh. Chair, leather, sleep. Oh my god. Egg chair city thing. <laughs> this is actually my favorite episode ever, I think, of all time. <laughs> I'm just gonna whip this out. What did he just whip out? Mm -hmm. I can't believe we're actually working right now. This is embarrassing. You all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cluing. What? He's, he's cluing. He's cluing he's for cluing looks. He's cluing for looks. <laughs> ah! ah! Y'all, I gotta tell you, like, oh, he's gonna fall asleep on the rug. There he goes. Night, night. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta say, one of my favorite things when I was an actor was acting like I was drunk. Like, it never gets old. It's just such a fun thing to do. You can tell they had so much fun doing this. Don't compromise the integrity of the... <laughs> Crime scene. Great job, John. <laughs> he wants a high five! <laughs> The choices, I love the choices that they were making in this episode, man. They're so goofy, I love these two. Pray charge your glasses and be upstanding. Today begin the adventures of Mary Elizabeth Watson. I don't know why I immediately got sus of the photographer, like he was the stalker or something from earlier, but that I think I should relax. He's sus, isn't he? This is a famous detective, it's Sherlock Holmes and his partner, John Hamish Watson. How did you know? She, yeah, and how did you know he was getting married? Yeah, I'm sus of her too. You knew about the wedding. More importantly, you'd seen a wedding invitation. Now, barely 100 people had seen that invitation. The major uh -huh. saw five women. For one person to be in both groups. Is it Sholto? But for now... Part two. Part two is more action-based. I'm gonna walk around, shake things up a bit. He's improving right now. This is great. Weddings are great. Love a wedding. What's he doing? Something's wrong. Something is wrong, yeah. Oh, I love that John can pick up on that. He's like, something is going on. <sighs> too many, too many, too many, too many! <laughs> Sorry, too many jokes about John. Uh, this is the most personable he's ever looked, I feel like. Because he's just trying to appear normal, but he's also like losing it a little bit. Let's play a game. Let's play murder. Oh my god. Sherlock. <laughs> Mrs. Hudson! She's like, what are you doing, Sherlock? As a mental exercise, I've often planned the murder of friends and colleagues. Now, John, I'd poison. Sloppy easy, dead easy. Okay. Well, this is a great wedding speech, man. A rose. He's pissed, isn't he? Ow! So, once again. Ma Molly! She's like, shut the f up, I'm interested. And since killing someone in public is difficult, killing them in private isn't enough. Oh, they're leaving their chairs when he's narrowing them down. That's awesome. Possibly someone under threat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew something had to be up with him. I just thought it was going to be murdered. I don't know how or by whom, but it's going to happen. Excuse me, coming through. Consulting. Oh. Stay careful. Please be careful. I love that Mary's just like, okay, this is happening. Is he going to be murdered or is he the murderer? It looks like he just looked to camera. Oh my God, that was so funny. You're the famous Mr. Holmes. Solve the case. On you go. On you go. Hurry up, solve it. Shut up. You are not a puzzle solver. You never have been. You're a drama queen. Now there is a man. You're a drama queen. Solve it. Okay, fine. Yeah, they're wearing the same belt. 
Is it the belt? When he tried to take the belt off? Don't take off the belt. <laughs> He's a drama queen too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. You guys both are. It's fine. Don't take off your belt. Yes, belt. Yes, Bainbridge was stabbed out. I thought the they were wearing... I noticed they were wearing the same belt. I'm not even supposed to have this anymore. They gave me special dispensation to keep it. Oh. He's going to take it off. If you're dead, it hardly seems good manners to argue. He oh, Sholto. You're going to make this day about you? Really? Whatever you're doing in there, James, stop it right now. I will... This is his wedding day. Don't kill yourself. There's a proper time to die, isn't there? Yeah, and it's not your friend's wedding day. Of course, Wancho, but not at John's wedding. Yeah, asshole. We wouldn't do that, would we? You and me. Yeah, you wouldn't make the wedding day about you, right? You wouldn't do that to him. I believe I am in need of medical attention. You are. I believe I'm your doctor. Good. Aww. Got him for you. Ah, the photographer. Excellent. Thank you. I was pretty sus of the photographer. Did I call it you guys am i a genius there's always a man at a wedding who is not in any photograph who can go anywhere the photographer you only ever see the camera what are you doing what is did we just chain him to a bellhop cart he could still move his brother was one of the raw recruits killed in that incursion johnny sought revenge on shulter worked his way through shulter's staff found what he needed that's why an invitation to a wedding holy he was playing the long game. He was playing the long game. I can't believe he killed that guard just for rehearsal. True photographer needing a rehearsal. Okay, they get a happy ending. Wow, I am shocked. I was expecting something to come out about, like some, there's something about Mary, you know. Oh, he's playing the violin for them? That's really cute. Guys, this wedding went a lot better than I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie. From now on, I swear I will always be there. Always. For all three of you. I'm sorry, I mean, I mean two of you, or two of you. All three of you. <laughs> you meant all three of us. <laughs> We're a thruple. Sorry, that was one more deduction than I was really expecting. Deduction. Increased appetite. Story. Change of taste perception. Oh, I Is she pregnant? She's pregnant. She, he told her? Are you kidding me? He just told her that she's pregnant. That's hysterical. How did he notice before me I'm a bloody doctor? Put down. With your day off, stop, stop. Well, she didn't know either. Don't panic. None of you panic. <laughs> Nobody panic! <laughs> You're already the best parents in the world. Look at all the practice you've had. What practice? Well, you're hardly going to need me around now that you've got a real baby on the way. Yeah, Sherlock. You practice with Sherlock. Oh, that's so cute. Wait, this is so cute. Guys, this episode is like way cuter and happier than I was really ever anticipating. Oh, oh, he is feeling a little sad. I like kind of want the woman to reappear, you know, so Sherlock can have his own happy ending and he doesn't have to be like all alone all the time, you know? <laughs> In 1982, your husband corresponded with Ellen Catherine Driscoll. She was 15. Oh, f She looked older. That's f up. She looked delicious. Ew. We have photographs, too. The one she sent him. Oh, great. Yum, yum. Ew, 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 ew! I will call someone. I will have you removed. What is that? Ew. This guy's such a perv. Ew. Ew! What the f He's awful. Magnuson. No one stands up to him. No one dares. No one even tries. Is she gonna get Sherlock involved or something? Mom? Turn the car around. We're going back into town. Turn around. Oh? You gonna go get somebody? Where are we going, Mom? 221B Baker Street. Baker Street. Yeah! I was gonna say, this guy, Magnuson, is, uh, he's just like Sherlock, but like insanely creepy. Like Sherlock can be creepy, but in a harmless kind of way. This guy is harmfully creepy. What sort of case? Too big a dangerous for any sane individual to get involved in. You trying to put me off? God, no. I'm trying to recruit you. <laughs> what's in the bedroom? I wanna, he's not gonna stay out of the bedroom, is he? Let's see what's in the bedroom. Oh, John, hi. <laughs> Sound like an argument. Was it Mike? Mike? Mike, yeah. Mycroft? Mycroft. Mycroft. Do people actually call him that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, could you be alone and put some coffee on? Ah, I love her. Wait, I'm so happy about this. Even if it's just casual, this is cute. Where's Cheryl? Cheryl. Cheryl. Oh, she's calling Cheryl. <gasps> 
my god, it's so cute! He like he's like oh god I can't help but listen but I don't want to listen but oh god <laughs> so weird is is this actually happening or is this like all plants it's for the case isn't it is it all for the case to throw off Magnuson I haven't told Mary about this so I kind of wanted to surprise her yeah I think you probably will uh huh this is all fake this is all fake I'm convinced that Janine's in on it too I think it's fake because we got to trip up Magnuson so that. He thinks he knows Sherlock's pressure points and like weaknesses. So they think the drug thing is also for the case. Call me later. I might do. Ah! But I still love seeing this. It's weird. I can't look away. Wow, weird. <laughs> oh my God, it's so weird. Oh yeah, his his smile. His smile dropped immediately. Oh, maybe Janine's not in on it and he's gonna break her heart. I hope he doesn't do that. That's f***ed up. Sherlock, you complete loom. What are you doing? She works for him. Oh no, what the f***? Is he using her? I don't like this. He's using her. This is f***ed up. This is so f***ed up. She's just... Sherlock, she loves you. Yes, like I said, human error. Oh, I'm heartbroken. I was kind of hoping that maybe she was in on it too, but she wasn't. She's getting used. But is this the protection he wants? Additionally, if you're going to commit murder, you might consider changing your perfume, Lady Smallwood. Sorry. Who? He didn't know? How did he not know? Oh, Sherlock, if you take one more step, I swear I will kill you. No, Mrs. Watson. You won't. Are you f***ing kidding me? He's not gonna die like this. What's happening? You're going into shock. It's the next thing that's going to kill you. What do I do? Don't go into shock, obviously. <laughs> Thank you, Mycroft. So helpful. Wow. I am shocked about Mary, y'all. I was kind of sus of her when we met her, and then I was like, oh, I guess I shouldn't be sus of her. And I should have been. I'm sad for... This is so sad. You're letting him down, Sherlock. John Watson is definitely in danger. No, yeah, that's gonna bring him back. That's gonna make him come back to life. He's trying to force his own beating heart back to life. Was it something I said, huh? <laughs> oh my God, this is so weird. Oh, he's gotta climb the stairs again now. Man, he really is so dramatic. Most people, they just say they're, they feel like they're going towards a light. He's got like a whole Staircase and pain cave with a creepy villain inside. Man, he's bringing himself back from the dead. Wow. Uh oh. He's pulled through. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Oh, are you, Mrs. Watson, you're in big trouble. Uh huh. His first word when he woke up Mary. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, she's worried now. Now she's stressed. Oh no, John. John, my, oh, I'm so heartbroken for him, man. Oh, he's gone, of course. Oh, Jesus. He snuck out the window? Oh my God. So where would he go? Oh, Christ knows. It's so funny because he's just calling her to like talk to his wife and she's like, where did he go, huh? Weird. Hmm, what do you think? What do you think you would have done, honey? Only the very front section of the house remains. Oh, it's a facade. That's kind of cool. Remind you of anyone, Mary? Oh, she's, oh. He's, it's all, ah! Where did he get a projector from? He really is so dramatic and theatrical. I was going to say, he's so extra. Mary Morstan was stillborn in October 1972. Her gravestone is in Chiswick Cemetery, where five years ago you acquired her name. Oh, she's a fake identity. That's why she had no family at the wedding. I was kind of sus that she didn't have family going to the wedding, but I kind of let it go after they got married. I was sus of her when we met her and then I just let it go. I'll take the case. What okay. case? Your. Her case? Yeah, why does she want to kill Magnuson so bad? What is she hiding? I mean, her whole identity, but. <laughs> because John can't ever know that I lied to him. Oh, she does love him. Is it him? Isn't it? talk and sort it out but do it quickly oh my gosh 
I feel so bad for John. He's just like a puppy dog. Is everyone I've ever met a psychopath? Yeah, I think so, except for Mrs. Hudson. Mrs. Hudson's not a psychopath. Your best friend is a sociopath who solves crimes as an alternative to getting high. That's me, by the way. Hello. Even the landlord uh. used to run a drug cartel. It oh, was true. my husband's cartel. I was just typing. Okay, she, yeah, but she's very empathetic, okay? And very sweet. Why is everything always my fault? Oh, neighbors. <laughs> I know, John. I know. I know, babe. Sit. Why? Because that's where they sit. Oh, he's trying to analyze her like she's not his wife. Like a person he just met. Yeah. Then we decide if we want you or not. Oh, I do feel for John. He is abnormally attracted to dangerous people, though. He does have a problem, <laughs> but it's still sad. So are you okay? Oh, are we doing conversation today? Oh. A USB stick. Seriously, months of silence, and we're going to do this now. Are you mad at him for giving the silent treatment, ma'am? You did lie to him about who you were completely and then let him marry you. So I think he has a right. Everything about who I was is on there. If you love me, don't read it in front of me. Why? <laughs> because you won't love me when you've finished. Well, Mary, Mary, you kind of don't have the right to ask him not to read it. I've thought long enough about what I want to say to you. Oh. Oh, God. The problems of your past are your business. Huh? The problems of your future are my privilege. It's all I have to say. It's all I need to know. Oh. No, I didn't read it. He didn't? You don't even know my name. <laughs> Is Mary Watson good enough for you? I can't stop. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> Cause like, I just, I feel so bad for John for this happening, but like, I'm happy he can move on and choose to be happy. I'm not still basically pissed off with you. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, he's so happy. <laughs> I can sod it from now on. Ready, ready, ready. Oh, I do it low. You really don't. I choose the baby's name. Not a chance. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, okay. Thank God, because they argue together and I just like seeing John happy. <laughs> Magnuson is quite simply the most dangerous man we've ever encountered and the odds are comprehensively stacked against us. Wonderful. But it's Christmas. <laughs> I feel the same. Oh, you mean it's actually... <laughs> <laughs> that reversal by Benedict was so good. He was like, I know. Oh, you mean literally. So disappointing. <laughs> Mycroft's pressure point is his junky detective brother, Sherlock. Mm -hmm. Sherlock's pressure point is his best friend, John Watson. I own John Watson's wife. Ugh. I own Mycroft. You don't own anyone! You're so nasty! I hate you! Ugh. Let me show you the Apple Door vaults. Oh, God. This is where I keep you all. He's got like an ownership kink, like a master kink. It's disgusting. I mean, I'm not kink shaming normal people, but he does it non consensually. <gasps> Okay, so where are the vaults then? There's nothing in there! It's all in his brain. The Apple Door vaults are my mind palace. What, you do research and then keep it in your mind? I just sit here. I close my eyes. You're able to focus that well in a fluorescent bright room? I would lose it. What would I need proof for? Right, he's just blackmailing people. I don't have to prove it, I just have to print it. Oh wow, wonderful. Ethical journalism at its finest. We'll both be heavily featured tomorrow. Trying to sell state secrets to me. You only have so much room in your brain for stuff. How does he have th this much room? To clarify, Apple Door's bolts only exist in your mind. Nowhere else, just there. They're not real. They never have been. All we have to do is kill this man. Sherlock, what do we do? There's nothing to be done. He's gonna get shot. He's gonna get shot. I think Mycroft and Sherlock, maybe we're working together. I think they're gonna shoot him. Oh, do your research. I'm not a hero. I'm a high-functioning sociopath. Merry Christmas! Oh, he's gonna shoot him? Oh my god, Sherlock did that. Holy sh**. Sherlock, oh my god, why did you do that with so many people around? Oh my god. Give my love to Mary. Tell her she's safe now. Oh my god, Sherlock. That was such a selfless act for John and Mary, because John is his pressure point, you know? You will look after him for me, won't you? Mm. Don't worry. I'll keep him in trouble. So we just got him off of the murder charges or what? Like what? 
Since this is likely to be the last conversation I'll have with John Watson, huh? would you mind if we took a moment? What is happening? What's happening? Are we sending him abroad or? So here we are. <clears throat> oh, is he going to jail here? What's going on? I just got it. William Sherlock Scott Holmes. Oh, his full name? If you're looking for baby names. No, we've had a scam. We're pretty sure it's a girl. Where are you actually going now? Yeah. Oh, some undercover work in Eastern Europe. Oh, he is going to go there. Six months. And hope he doesn't die. John, there's something I should say. Uh, I've meant to say always and I never have. Since it's unlikely we'll ever meet again, I might as well say it now. Unlikely? Why? Sherlock is actually a girl's name. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. It's really not. It's really not. <laughs> Cheryl Holmes, maybe? <laughs> Okay, so he was the one getting on board the plane. They just came here to say goodbye to him here. I see. That's why I was confused. Because it looked like when they walked away, like they were all getting on the plane and Sherlock was staying. That's why I was confused. So they got him off of the murder charges, but it means he has to go do that job in Eastern Europe, like Mycroft mentioned. But when he says it's unlikely we'll ever meet again, like, can he never come back to London? Is that why? Like... Smith, Ben, Jimmy, talk. This looks good. Are we gonna... Is it flash forwarding ahead in time? Did you miss me? Moriarty? What's happened? Sir? It's your brother. Are they gonna send Sherlock right back in? They'll be like, you're not going to Eastern Europe. How's the exile going? I've only been gone four minutes. <laughs> it's four minutes! <laughs> Certainly hope you've learned your lesson. <laughs> I hope you learned your lesson. Timeout's over. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. That was a fake out. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. I was like, why are we saying goodbye so dramatically like this? Like, theoretically, he could come back at some point. They'll need him. Like, I just don't know if I really needed that whole dramatic goodbye because it didn't really make sense to me. I guess they just were like, how can we infuse more drama into the end of this season? Because last season, it was so dramatic. He died. <laughs> like, oh, my God. This season was a lot of fun. I really feel like the humor in this season was a lot more present. There was a lot of witty jokes, a lot of funny, quirky kinds of edits that really threw me off. Like you'd think the characters were playing chess, but they were really just playing operation or silly little reveals that happened with the camera work and the editing that I really enjoyed in this season. Even this scene in this episode with Sherlock almost dying, there was so many strange, edits and so many characters speaking to him in his mind palace. I like this other villain. Magnuson also uses a mind palace because from the moment we met him, like I couldn't tell if his glasses were actually technological glasses or just regular glasses and he was just seeing everything in his brain because they looked like regular glasses. So I thought, oh, he must just be seeing things in his mind the way Sherlock does. And the editing does a really great job of personifying the way certain characters think. And I've just really come to love characters like John. I love John so much. He's just like the everyman figure in this show. He's the straight man. He's the one that like really personifies, I think, how most of the audience probably feels when certain things happen, or especially when characters like Mycroft and Sherlock are talking and he just, or, you know, the scene between Janine and Sherlock. Like if you just watch John, it's pretty much like how everybody at home is reacting. And I love that. At least that's how I feel. And I just think he's so fun and sassy and just sarcastic. And I, I love it. I love that vibe. And I'm happy that like, despite this betrayal from Mary that they're choosing to stay together because they do really love each other and do make each other happy because I don't think I could handle John being a sad beaten down puppy dog like I'd rather just have him have a little trust issues and maybe take it out on Mary sometimes and be mad at her but ultimately be happier in the long run and be able to co-parent with her I think that's a better ending for him because I was heartbroken seeing him all betrayed I couldn't take it I am really curious as to like who she killed though and the things that she did although I don't think it's really that important clearly it was something that she isn't proud of and wants to be a different person she just has a hard time getting out of that line of work and away from that life or I guess maybe she successfully got out of that line of work but it was just Magnuson who was going to drag her name back into the mud to have control of her I'm so glad that we just killed him he was truly awful I think he's a great example of somebody who just should just die like he's just I, maybe that's messed up to say maybe you should find a way to imprison a guy like that but he was just so pervy and disgusting and creepy and I did not like that guy. And also, he doesn't do a great job of making sure that people like him either because his whole idea is like, I own people. I know 
things about people and can blackmail them and control them and therefore own them, which works to a certain extent until you show your hand and you tell one of the smartest men in the world that everything is just in your head and there's no proof or records of it anywhere. It's just all in your mind. Well, then like he's a sociopath and he's probably just going to kill you just to put everybody else that he cares about out of his misery. Like you should realize like John is his pain point and he cares about John more than anything else. So he would give up his life and freedom to protect John. Although that does go to show how cocky Magnuson was. He was a very cocky individual and just full of himself, super annoying. So I'm I'm glad he's dead. Get him out of here. I do feel like this season was good. I don't really have a lot of issues with it. I think the editing was really fun. The writing was really fun. I feel like I'm a lot more invested in the characters than when we started. And I really feel like I got to see a lot of their personalities come out. There were a lot of fun twists and reveals as well in this season. A lot of moments that shocked me, especially with characters like Mary. So I'll be interested to see what they do with the fourth and final season because I know that that one is maybe not as loved by people. But that's all I really have to say on this season. I just enjoyed this show a lot and it's very addictive, very fun. And I love the characters a lot and it has been a really great suggestion. So thank you so much to all of y'all who suggested this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more Sherlock and stuff like this in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.